Hello and welcome to our comprehensive guide on Microsoft 365 licenses and currently in this video we will explore the various license types available and demonstrate how to manage them using the Microsoft 365 admin center so let's get started and let's connect to our Windows machine and I could make the slides to show you the license types and discussion regarding the license but I prefer to open the Microsoft Doc that will really help you because in the future and whenever you wanted to know about the licenses and all such details you will definitely go to the Microsoft Docs because the relevant and the you know accurate information you can find later on in any time on the Microsoft Docs so this is a platform that provides you the legit information regarding the licenses so all you need to do is to type the Microsoft 365 license on the Google and it will just show you the best link where you will click on the Microsoft Docs and you will be navigated here. Now here it says that Microsoft 365 and Office 365 plan option and there are service families and plans all are there and here's a table and you can click to expand the table. So here you have the whole information regarding the license types so as it, as it shows you have the Microsoft 365 Business Basic, then the Business Standard, Business Premium, then the Microsoft 365 E3 or Office 365 E3, and in the same way, the most premium and the most, you know, the Business Premium Environment License, which is the Microsoft 365 E5, and you could also say the Office 365 E5. Now, here's the feature you can see on the left. The list of feature is available already and you can understand you can you know figure out and you can first assess your requirement and then you can see that which features come in which license so let's say if you want to go for the Microsoft 365 business standard so first you need to assess your requirement that which products you're going to require in your environment in your corporate network and in your whole business then once you have the list of all the required products then you come to this Microsoft doc and first analyze your request requirement that which license will definitely fulfill what you require and here you can see that all the basics licenses and the standard license are available and all the products are mentioned so just you need to just find out the required now here you can see that this page will tell you about the licenses and the other details like the services which you can get from specific license so here are the services like the office 365 platform exchange online sharepoint and it shows where these are available like in office 365 e1 you have few service available and few are not and in the same way you have some changing or mixing of the plan available so you have a comprehensive detail regarding the license available here so if you definitely have some requirement then you will definitely go for the more exact license because you know the enterprise license starts with the e1 e3 e5 and your frontline worker licenses start with the f1 and the f3 and here you can see some standalone services as well let's say if you just wanted the licenses regarding the exchange online so you when you can directly go to the standalone services here and you can explore these plan as well like for the OneDrive for business SharePoint online office application online diagram software that's that's for the video so definitely if you have a single requirement so this platform this document will definitely help you out because Microsoft 365 offers a range of licenses tailored to meet the diverse organizational needs and this include business license for small to medium which you can see from this table and you know the enterprise license for the large organization the first line worker license designed for the employees who engage directly with the customer or are involved in different services and task oriented roles so let's move to the admin center and explore more that how you can manage licenses 
So let's switch to the admin center and we have already opened it. And this thing we have already discussed and showed you in the plenty of previous videos that how you can assign licenses and how you can manage the licenses for your user. So all you need to do is to open the Microsoft 365 admin center. And here on the left, you will find the list of options. And the one that you need to select is the billing. So you need to click to the billing section. And here you need to select licenses to view all the available subscription. And here you will see the list of, you know, assigned users and your assigned and your list of available licenses. And here the assigns licenses list which tells you that how many licenses are assigned within this available licenses so currently we have like four licenses under the name section the communication credit enterprise mobility plus security e5 microsoft intra idp2 office 365 e5 and under the available license you can see that the number is available that will easily and in a just quick look just give you the number that how many licenses are available in the same way under the assigned license you can see that how many licenses are currently assigned and being used by your user so from this portal you can just get the understanding and to get the detail that how many licenses are available but to assign the license to individual user you need to go to the user tab and here you will click to the active user and if you want to know in a first look that how many user are still serving any license using any license or not so once you open this active user session section here in the office 65 admin center so on the right you can see under the licenses section that all are mentioned and all the user that are not using any license at the moment are available and it says unlicensed and all the user have the license which is already mentioned so this is just quick look information and in this single click you will have the idea that the, whether the user have the license or not so let's say if you want to assign the license and we have discussed this you know so many times in the previous videos so don't want to repeat the whole you know the steps so here you need to click to the license in an app and you need you have to select the license but you must have the number of license available before assigning the license to any user and it also already said that you are out of the license so this is a good thing that under the license section you will find that it will give you the exact detail that whether you have the licenses or not to assign it to another user so after assigning these licenses you know it is essential to verify the assignment which you can verify from here and from here as well and also you can go back to the billing and click to the licenses and this will tell you whether the licenses are successfully assigned or not 